Well, I don't know if this house is haunted, but I think there's definitely something peculiar about it. There's a lot of strange things that happen. Well, when we first moved in, I used to hear lots of, like, scratching and, like, I don't know, weird noises, and it sounded like they were coming from the attic, and I'm not even sure that we have an attic. Um, I used to think it was squirrels, but then it kind of stopped happening and sort of moved around the house. Every once in a while, I would hear stuff in, like, different parts of the house and, like, banging on doors, and then it gradually moved down to the basement, which is also really creepy, and now the lights only work during the daytime, and the lights don't turn on at night, so you can't do your laundry down there anymore. It's kind of creepy to go down there all together. I don't go into the basement very often because I've heard of the stories of the basement, so I avoid it as much as possible. I think I've done laundry here about three times since we've lived here. The upstairs and the basement seem to be the most haunted in the house. That's where I always hear noises coming from. The flickers. It sometimes works and it some, sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. We change the bulb almost every week and it still flickers on and off. Some nights I'll wake up, or right before I fall asleep, it almost feels like there's someone else in the room, even though there's not, or like almost like there's a different, like just a feeling of someone, some other presence. But I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's strange. Well, I had to stay here one night by myself, and it was the worst experience ever. You could definitely hear like footsteps and parts of the house that people were not in, doors closing for sure. And I can just always hear people walking up and down the stairs at night. Scariest thing ever. The bathroom in the basement, which has no walls really, but there's a toilet that works. And then there's like a creepy hole in the wall with cement blocks and a lot of little tiny rooms and doors. For no reason. I guess the best way I'd describe my feelings would just be kind of unsettling because it's nothing that's came to the point where I've been like scared or really nervous. Like it's just made me feel uncomfortable. I, I don't know. It's the feeling. It's just it's like somebody's like invading your space or it, it's just it makes you feel uncomfortable because you don't know how to explain it. Can't move. Can't take it if it gets any worse. Oh, no, I'll never stay alone in this house again by myself. Um, it is a little nerve-wracking. I still don't mind being in the house alone as long as I have music or the TV on. I mean, nothing too severe has happened so far, so, you know, I just kind of go on with it. But if anything came to the point where I was actually scared, 